Now I'm here at the Dressage Arena where all the main action has been taking place today and I can tell you that Yorkshire's Oliver Townend is in second place. That could of course all change because there's another day of dressage tomorrow. We will of course keep you posted. Now here on this arena all the competitors are tested in exactly the same way. The judges are looking for obedience, suppleness and movement, a little bit like ballet. Now this is the first phase of a three-day event and on Saturday it will be four miles and 32 huge fences for them to overcome so we'll find out how they get on there it is of course all about the horses and their riders and what about what happens behind the scenes well our reporter Annalise Shearsmith was invited by Nicola Wilson to see what it's like to actually camp here at Bramham when you live just a few miles up the road getting to Bramham is an easy drive but as all the horses and riders have to stay on site for the duration of the event home becomes a wagon park it's all part of the job for British team medalist Nicola Wilson, her groom Lynn and horse B Diplomatic. A quick inspection and paperwork check with the vet before settling B into one of nearly 200 temporary stables. And first, there's a bit of R&R in store. He's just having this um, massage and magnetic rug on, just to give him a little body massage um, so that he's nice and relaxed and all his muscles have, have um, relaxed after working. Um, so hopefully he's in the best possible condition for the beginning of the competition. He seems very happy. He's quite relaxed here in his new, new home for the week. For Nicola, there's no five-star luxury. Her horse box becomes her home. And this is the bathroom. Very compact. This is the living where Lynn, my head girl, and I will sleep for the week. Um, as you can see, there is a fridge in the corner here where we keep all our usual things, um, a hob and an oven underneath, the sink, um, and then this seat which we use um, during the day with the table. The table goes away and pulls out into a double bed and that'll be where Lynn sleeps. Um, and then again up on the Luton um, is, um, is my bed and that's where I will sleep through the week. Obviously the horses are very important to us, hence the carrots. Um, they are the reason that we are here this week and we want to do very well. So I now need to go and make sure that he's fed and sorted for the night. Nicola and Lynn are used to long days and a life on the road as they continue to tend to bees every need. And when that's done, there's a bit of cleaning to do. With two saddles, three bridles and an outfit for each stage of the event, it will be well into the night before they can think about getting into bed themselves. Annalise Shearsmith, BBC Look North, Bramham. And you can probably see those delightful horse boxes right in the distance right now. Nicola joins me. I have to ask you, Nicola, how have you been sleeping? Well, I've been sleeping very well, thank you very much. But I think tonight might be, yes, it's been such a beautiful hot day. I think uh, the horse box will be a little bit warm tonight. But uh, yeah, I've been sleeping well, thank you. Good. Well, it's been a fantastic first day, hasn't it? You've got dressage again tomorrow. How are you feeling? Well, he's, he feels really well, he's enjoying being here um, and he, yes, he feels in, in good form so hopefully he'll do a lovely test tomorrow afternoon um, and hopefully he'll enjoy the crowds that come. Now you're one of our local champions last year, the gold medal team. Everybody's thinking about the Olympics now, how would you feel if you were selected for that 2012? Oh, it would be an absolute dream come true, there isn't a day goes by when, you don't, when you're not thinking about the Olympics and, and hoping that you'll get your, your chance, your break and yes, it would be just amazing for the whole team at home um, to be involved next year at 2012 Olympics. And back here on home ground, Bramham is particularly special to you, isn't it? It is. I think it's probably my most favourite event. I don't know whether it's because it's close to home and uh, you get so many um, Yorkshire support behind you, um, but it really is a fantastic venue, the most beautiful park, and the, ter the terrain for the cross-country makes it such a special, um, exciting cross-country course to ride, and uh, it's just a beautiful place to, uh, to be, really. Well, thank you very much, Nicola. We wish you all the luck in the world. And it is a very special place. And the man who spent months and months making it special is director Nick. Nick, how are you feeling? How's it been going? Uh, really good, thank you. It's been a busy few weeks, you know, particularly in the build-up towards this. But, um, you know, we start planning it about a year in advance. I've, I've started my list for next year already as to little things that I want to change and improve and stuff like that. But it's been a, a fabulous first day. First day we've had, you know, blue sky and sunshine. It's been really, really nice. But the weather wasn't quite on your side to begin with, was it? 
No, it's been quite a challenging spring because it's been really, really dry. Uh, and for the cross country to work well, the, the horses need you know, good going. Um, so we've been watering since April. We brought in special machines that make holes in the ground. Um, and you know, we've been watering sort of nonstop since then. And we had three machines going around the cross country course today as well. So you know, we're making every effort to make sure that the cross country course is just as, just as good as it can be for the competitors come Saturday. And what can your visitors expect then over the next few days? It's action packed every day. We have uh, on Friday, we have the dressage. Saturday the cross country, uh, yes, Saturday cross country. Uh, Sunday we have the show jumping. Um, but as well as that, there's 130 something shops here, and there's various other show jumping classes and hunter classes as well. So there's, there's something for all the family, particularly with the, the segways and the quad bikes and various things like that. We've got this this year in the um, action and adventure net, action and adventure area we've we've introduced. Nick, thank you very much. Well, if you are coming along, you won't be disappointed. But if you can't make it, do have a look at our exclusive online video, which takes you through the cross country course. The uh, uh, address should be on your screen now. Do take a look. Well worth a visit. Amanda, thank you so much. No, but everyone needed cooling down today, Lisa, didn't you? Yeah, I'm not surprised Sion's been taking a dip. Do you want to take a guess at the top temperature from today? You said 24, 25. 27. 25, 77 wow. Fahrenheit. So it really has been a very warm day. Let's take a look at those temperatures from across Yorkshire today. Leaming 25 degrees, widely up to 24 through the Vale of York. Bingley over the tops of the Pennines, 22 degrees, and Whitby on the coast, 19 degrees. So it really has been a beautiful day with temperatures way above average. Now, of course, the international horse trials continue at Bramham through the weekend. On Saturday for cross country, 22 degrees with the cloud increasing later for show jumping on Sunday, cloudier and also cooler. So tomorrow is going to be another fine day for most of us, sunny spells, but we are going to see more in the way of cloud. Now the crowds have flocked to Bramham International Horse Trials in Leeds today. 82 riders are competing for the coveted trophy. Nicola Rees can tell us more. Tens of thousands of people turned out in the sunshine for today's main event, the cross country. The four-mile course at this year's Bramham International Horse Trials has some unusual jumps, as well as all the usual ditches and water. There are 35 jumps in total, all designed to test both the horse and the rider's skill and stamina. So this is one of the most challenging jumps on the course. We're about three quarters of the way round, and at this point the horses are really starting to tire. Oh, it's not for the faint-hearted. Pippa Funnel won the main event here last year and she's in the lead again this afternoon. No surprise then that Bramham is her favourite course. Bramham Park is extra special to me. It's a real old favourite. It's a beautiful, beautiful park. The atmosphere is great. Lots of people. It is magical here, especially when it goes well. 82 riders are competing in the main event today and there's more action to look forward to tomorrow when the show jumping gets underway. Nicola Reese, BBC Look North in Bramham. Now, Bramham International Horse Trials finished today with the first ever German winner. Thousands of visitors have watched the four-day event near Leeds. Our reporter Dan Johnson was there. They've basked in sunshine over the last four days and despite a brief murky period this morning, it warmed up and the crowds turned out again for the final day of eventing, the show jumping. It's been a fantastic few days we've had so far, you know, bumper crowds on every day, Glorious, glorious sunshine on Thursday and Friday. A bit cooler on Saturday, which is perfect for the horses. So it's been a, you know, an amazing few days, and we're we're absolutely delighted. It's been a great competition. The horses have run well, and we're really, really pleased. Not all the attention's been on the horses, though. Plenty of eating, drinking, and shopping to be done. The organisers reckon the good weather means the number of visitors will top 60,000. It's a northern show for northern folk. Good, good northern folk coming into the show. It's friendly, lots of stalls, lots to see. Good fun. The show itself is just unbelievable. It's absolutely amazing. The, the atmosphere, everything is brilliant. It's super. So, to the show jumping. Germany's Kai Ruder led going into the final, riding Sarton Union's Charlie Velt. He just needed to get round without making a mistake to claim the overall win. My first Bramham, and to win, that's great, that couldn't be better. And uh, I know I have a horse for the future, and I'm very thankful for the owners that they give me this horse, and um, I'm very happy, yes, absolutely. Britain's Polly Stockton came second, ahead of Huddersfield's Oliver Townend. Not all the horses were showing such graceful displays, but the organisers are already preparing for next year's event. It's been a long, tiring weekend for horses, riders, and one or two spectators as well.
Dan Johnson, BBC Look North, at Bramham Park. So after four days of record-breaking crowds and top-class action, the Bramham International Horse Trials near Weatherby came to a thrilling close yesterday. It was actually won for the very first time by a German rider. With a roundup of the event, here's Annalise Shearsmith. The sun shone and the spectators arrived. Bramham International Horse Trials is a family affair, and that includes the whole family. Thursday and Friday saw the elegant dressage phase, which resulted in last year's winner, Pippa Funnel, again at the top of the leaderboard. On Saturday, the crowds poured in and spilled across the parkland for the exciting cross-country stage. It's a test of endurance, stamina and sheer guts, and the course didn't disappoint, with lots of thrills and a few spills. The trouble was spread all around the course. There was no one fence that was a bogey, um, so that's good. Uh, the, some of the riders said it was their own mistakes when the horses fell, but at the end of the day, you, know, you just want them all to come home safely. Local rider Nicola Wilson did just that. She and her horse Be Diplomatic had a fantastic round and jumped their way up the leaderboard and into the top ten. He was fantastic. He gave me a, a super ride and just to come home inside the time was, was fantastic and a tribute to the team that have helped me get here. Huddersfield's Oliver Townend also had a good day. His clear within the time pushed him up to third. So on Sunday it was all in the balance for the show jumping. The riders jump in reverse order for this final stage. So last in was the leader, Germany's Kai Ruder. And only a clear round would keep him there. What a piece of judgment. I must say it was a wonderful weekend. My first Bramham and to win that's great, that couldn't be better, and uh, I know I have a horse for the future, and I'm very thankful for the owners that they give me this horse, and um, I'm very happy, yes, absolutely. Closer to home, Ollie Townend held on to his third place, and Nicola Wilson was delighted to finish in sixth. So it was an exciting climax to an exciting four days of top international eventing. Annalise Shearsmith, BBC Look North, Bramham.